Okay, I guess I'll put this up on the boob tube. YouTube. I still don't get it. I mean, back in the day, there was no YouTube. There was TV. And now, you know, I can't get my head around how one little website has pretty much everybody uh, wrap their hands around it like it's the only place to do such a thing, but whatever. I use it, so I'm a hypocrite. Um, I got the... I, I, I'll, I'll tell you a little uh, actual information about what I've decided to do. Um, I wanted to get the Halloween, uh, Spirit Halloween costumes, whatever you call it, uh, uh, Ghost Trap. I was thinking, okay, I'll get that. It's not too expensive. It's good. Uh, but one thing that I've always intended to get from the earliest days I've been using the web for years and years now was the original Red Ghost Ghost, Ghost Trap and considering that the Halloween the Spirit, Spirit Costumes uh, trap is kind of sucky and all people have been having problems with it and the reviews aren't very good for it um, I particularly don't like that it's just so cheap and, and they're trying to really just get get away with making a cheap uh, knockoff trap that you yourself have to go buy extra stuff to modify into a more movie accurate trap. No push pedal. I mean, that technology is so easy to implement. It wouldn't take much, and they just don't bother with it. They could at least give you the pedal and maybe the cord, and then you go figure out a way to make it all work together. They could help you out a little bit they don't bother with that similar to the pack i bought the pack because i you know no no place has ever really released a, a, a decent prop replica of the ghostbusters proton pack for a reasonable price people selling it on ebay for damn near two thousand dollars and it's just a prop it doesn't do anything you can go make one for about two hundred dollars if you're good and handy with tools and all that you can go build one so with just no economical sense and why wouldn't somebody just make ones that you could lick up and pick up and go get um, so they finally did it and I was so impressed I decided to buy one but they did indeed fail a little bit and made some weird weird decisions uh, they could have just had the lights cycle and work just like the lights in the uh, pack of the movie and that's something that is very strange you have to go buy a whole kit on eBay and do some weird kabuki computer programming to create that lights uh, dynamic because they don't include it. Um, and otherwise, it's a fine pack. It looks so close to the film thing from far away, and people love it. Um, so I decided to do something. Now that I'm getting a little money in my pocket, uh, it was expensive. This cost me sixty something dollars. So when you think about sixty something dollars, what can that do? It's a lot of things you can do with that, and this is not particularly what well, it's worth. Uh, I think to me, it's worth like ninety dollars. So it's a sixty dollar investment, ninety dollar thing that I could resell anytime I want. This is the uh, tada, the actual original. Ghost Trap from the real Ghostbusters series. I'm a real Ghostbusters fanatic. I was there watching the show when I was a little kid. I watched so many episodes. I religiously followed the show. I'm one of those. Um, I'm going to try and see what, they've, what they got here. This is it. This is the original box, too. They gave, they gave me the box, so I'm going to... I'm a fool sometimes with these things. I, I, I destroy the boxes for them, and I just keep the thing. I've, I've modified my G, my GB toys and stuff like that. I've been modifying toys since I was a kid, so something I always do. But I'm gonna be smart here and keep the box intact because I think that people would probably like to have the box later on. So what we're gonna do is take a look at it. If you consider this my review. Whoever whoever had this was some sort of toy seller or something. I can I can bet that this was a, either a 
old item from a back of the corner of the store or what have you. It really looks cool. This is really super awesome. So it's inside of this plastic. The push pedal is there. This one I found just off chance. I was just browsing constantly for these things. And I found one that was a slightly uh, messed up model. Uh, something was wrong with it. The handle was broken so they had to tape it up and repair it. And there's, There were so many little things that were off about it. But this one actually is has no issues. There's no I didn't see anything in the list and it said there was something wrong with it. So it seems to be in damn near mint condition. And I got it for only sixty dollars. The, the ones that are selling that are in great condition without the box are selling for seventy nine, eighty to ninety dollars. So this person who sold this thing on eBay had no clue essentially what the true value of this was. Most of them don't go with the box. If they just looked a little bit around and said, okay, I'm selling it with the box and it's in fairly good condition. It doesn't have any major problems. It still functions. They probably would have had to buy it now for 95 bucks. But that's what you got to do on eBay. A little word to the wise. Always try to find people who are ignorant of the true value of the things they're selling. Make the most out of it. So my biggest problem with the other one, the, the Spirit Halloween, uh, Spirit Costumes version. So this is really nice. And it's got this little, I, I did my research. I know that it has these little pull-out tab so you can attach it to your belt. It has a roller so you can roll it. This is kind of fun for me because I wanted this so bad as a kid. I grew up uh, with the Ghostbusters toys in every store I ever went to. And I never actually... I'm an 80s kid. I mean, that's, I, mean I wasn't really alive and popping during the 80s. But I was basically seeing all the 80s stuff as I grew up. And toys were full. The, the Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, Power Rangers toys were all over everywhere. And so, this is it. This is the freaking trap from the original Ghostbusters series. I'm not going to break it. It seems really cool. I don't know if it works. I, I did my research on how to actually get stuff to work on it. Supposedly, you push the pedal, air goes through the tube, and then it, it plucks up these. So, let's test it out right now. Holy crap. I right, don't break it or nothing. This would have been the way to do the trap. This is, what is this, patented technology? They couldn't just re recreate this technology? This thing came out in 1989. I was three years old when this came out. Just so you get an idea, I was really kind of, I, I don't think I remember being three years old, not in the least, but I have the slightest memory of that. My real memories of childhood were like, couple of things as a baby and and then my my memory really kicked in around kindergarten um i remember everything about my life from kindergarten forward uh as far as this goes i think i was aware of it i was aware of the proton pack toy um we actually got a little ghostbusters toy from Salvation Army and had the projector go so you could project on the walls. We we had some pretty interesting toys in the 80s and stuff. So I, I remember the days before, before video games got really big. Life was really about getting and collecting and cherishing amazing toys. And this right here is in great shape. There is nothing wrong with it. I'm amazed right now that, that I'm playing with this thing and it's really happening. I'm actually getting to enjoy this. And it it works. You know, you, you, you're you a little kid. You say, okay, I want to catch a ghost. And you just press the button here and opens up. And it all works through a, a pressurized hydraulics. This thing has a pump in it. Air goes in. 80s technology. If anybody tells you toys today are made better than they were back then they're wrong 
Uh, so I'm gonna. I have quite a few toys. I have the Buzz Lightyear, Woody. Uh, I got a troll doll that I used to have way as a kid. I bought another one now. It glows in the dark whenever I turn off the light. Uh, I got all kinds of Star Wars stuff. So I'm trying to preserve these things. If I do get a really good steady job, that's basically what my life will consist of. Continue to maintain my collection of really badass toys. And maybe someday down the line, I'll be one of the last people with one of these things intact. I watched a video of some guy who bought one of these and I couldn't, I couldn't, my brain just kind of like melted when he decided to modify it and put lights in it and cut open the, uh, you know, everything. This is, this is really so beautiful. This is an exact replica of the cartoon version and you can play with it and it's so beautiful and it works. And you can, it's just, it's a sexy piece of machinery. Why would you ruin it? And you don't have to, you can actually, you know, you can do a little play of the movie with it. And that's what you want to do as a Ghostbuster fan. You want to say, okay, I'm going to pretend to be a Ghostbuster, right? So why would Spirit create a trap that you can't use a pedal and, and ignite and do the Ghostbuster thing? It makes no sense. So... I opted for this. If I wanted to cosplay as a Ghostbuster next Halloween, I don't think I'd, I'd take this out of my, my, my little display of it or something. No, I don't think I'd do that. But I have one now. I am now an owner of one of these. I will not part with it. This is my pride and joy. Uh, and I'm going to put up a little video on after, you know, this video right here that I'm making. This is it. This is the... RGB ghost trap it does not light up it doesn't have all that fancy stuff they put into the new trap but it can freaking open a door with a pedal and it uses an antiquated technology to do that it's so simple you know, uh, I used to have a look I used to have quite a few Ghostbusters toys that these people around here decided to throw a toss out so this is nice to finally get this in particular, and what I'm talking about is the firehouse. I had the firehouse. They, when I left the house to do something one day, I don't remember when that was, they just chucked it and threw it away. So, I still have the firehouse emblem. That's about all I got left of it. And that sucks to lose a firehouse because I don't think there's many left. And when that's the case, when these toys are rare, they're going to sell for a lot of money later on. It's about collecting them and then down the line when less and less of them exist they just shoot up in value so this one this can and, and the box and i got the instruction manual they said they had the instruction manual so it's in the back of the box so i actually have quite a few things that are worth uh serious money as a collector um so okay so when, 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 when the time comes and I do indeed potentially sell it off, then it's probably not worth quite a bit of money. And it's a smart investment to make. Um, somebody is selling one right now, and they're in the Netherlands. They're selling a the trap, and it's pretty cheap. You can get it for about 40 something dollars. It's the one that has issues, something's wrong with it. You can repair these traps. I've looked up videos on how to repair them. Sometimes the uh, hose needs to be realigned with the, it got loosened or something. But these are so simple, you know, if the doors don't open, the mechanism is probably not getting the air tightly enough. And that's all you need to do is to fix it. But the trap I'm, I, I was looking at for like 40 bucks on eBay. If you're a modder and you want to mod this particular trap and, and turn it into whatever you want, that trap would be perfect for it. Because you'll never be able to sell that one as mint, but it's in great shape. It still has the pedal, it's all, you know, looks good. They fix the handle so it's not going to break on you. This one's in perfect shape. I got my fingerprints all over it now, but you can't call this, they can't call this a used, crappy, 
old trap. And that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to go on too long because I, I, I personally hate long ass YouTube videos. So I end it there. And uh, yeah, things about to get real interesting for me. I won't elaborate. But this is one thing I wanted to kind of show the world. I'm very, very excited about where, where, where this means to own one of these. Because I own, I, own, I own RGB toys. I own actual cells from the RGB show. They sell them online, uh, production sells, so I have a couple of those, you know, I got a big collection of weird stuff from the Ghostbusters, and uh, I do it then, I know, I know some point down the line I'm going to do something that somebody online has been doing, they built a computer inside of a Ghostbusters Proton Pack, so... I'm going to try that at some point because I don't like the big, chunky, r ridiculous computer. If I had to have a computer constantly, I'd rather be able to actually look at it and say it's a Ghostbusters Proton Pack and it looks cool. So that would be a dream come true. And I think I'll, I'll put the money towards that when I do get down to that point. But yeah. So things have been got, gotten interesting. I think I will buy the Spirit uh, Trap eventually when it gets real cheap and they have a sale or something. Because I'm not fretting for them to have like a sold out situation. They still have the Proton Pack available. They're not sold out of that. I'm pretty sure next year they're going to do another bargain sale thing. Whatever. And I'll buy one. And I'll mod it. And I'll just create my own. Because, you know, it is the best option if you want to do a mod kit. And pretty much create a GB uh, costume. It's the only thing on the market now that you can buy quickly and mod it. And put it together and have yourself a little trap now i'm finally gonna end it not just messing around 